Hello. Today I thought maybe you guys would like to come online book shopping with me. I don't know if this is going to be a video that anybody likes. However, I do see this uh, type of video uh, mostly in like uh, makeup and beauty content. So I thought maybe we'd try it here. I have a couple of sites that I typically use for books. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, if you notice, I have a random number generator pulled up. I have an Excel spreadsheet that I put all the books that are on my TBR. And I have it sorted from 2 to 380 because the first cells are like my title, author, whatever, like setup. So that's what we're going to do. I figure I'll generate, eh, we'll go with five. We'll go with five. And if there's any that I'm like not interested in like right now, or potentially if I can't find them anywhere, um, then we'll put them on the back burner and try again later. <laughs> so let's go generate 258. 258. Oh my god, this list is long. 258. Oh, The Diviners by Libba Bray. It has been a very long time since I put this on my list. Let's see. Um, I like to use Better World Books as like my first go to because it's it's used books and I would rather get something used if I can however it appears that the only copy they have of the diviners is the hardcover and it's twenty three dollars and forty eight cents I'm not doing that <laughs> let's see if Amazon has a paperback that's cheaper That's better. Eleven eighty nine. I can live with that. Also, I kind of dig this cover, so that works for me. Oh, I could get it on Kindle. I hate e-readers, though. Let's just let's just put it in my cart and see what happens. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's generate another one. Twenty five. 25 is The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. I honestly don't remember what this is about or who recommended it to me or anything along those lines. Okay, I don't want the DVD. $3.98. Probably because nobody really wants DVDs right now. Oh, here we go. Paperback. I like paperback. Add to cart. Keep shopping. So that's two. 370. They are dragging me all around this list. But that was kind of the point, was to get books that I forgot about or whatever and remind myself that I wanted to read them so they don't just languish on my TBR. Oh, the pillars of the earth. <laughs> I was just talking about this in another video. Uh, Ken Fola has a book coming out. It's the prequel to the pillars of the earth. And I was talking about how I wanted to read it. Paperback. Let's see. Well, I mean, they're both ships free let's see let's see because if this uh nevada's closer to me so i'd probably get it faster i wish i would tell you like if it was just a regular paperback because I feel like this might be um, 
like the the real short thick paperbacks and those are really uncomfortable to hold but it is what it is let's just add to cart keep shopping cool that was three this is four number 20 they really are just up and down up and down that's fine afterland i have no idea what some of these things are that I... <laughs> what have i done <laughs> Okay, I don't see it here. Let's try Amazon. Afterland in books. Okay. Here it is. Add to cart. And one more. Two ninety nine. That is Oh, the Grace Keepers. I remember putting that on my list. I think this one's a little bit older, so I might be able to find it used. Yeah. Used for $7.98. Used for $5.48. I like that. Keep shopping. Okay. Was that four or was that five? It's three. That was five. Cool. So we're done with that. Now, the plan here is just to go through either the sale sections or the new release sections or whatever. And anything that I'm interested in, even a little bit, I'm throwing in the cart. Doesn't mean I'm gonna buy all these books, but I'm not gonna let you know what I've bought until my book haul at the end of August or beginning of September, or however that ends up working out. So I'm just gonna, anything that I'm interested in, it's going in the cart, and then it'll be like a big surprise. See if you guys see what I've actually bought. So that's the plan there. Let's see, fiction bestsellers. I have that, I have that, I have that. Anything, I have A Gentleman in Moscow, which I read and enjoyed. Oh, see, I want this. I've been looking for the Emily Wilson translation of The Odyssey for a while now. Red, white, and royal blue. Everybody is talking about it. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. Look. <laughs> I just don't think that I care. I really, really don't. I have Pachinko. What else? A thrilling suspense novel. Sure. Oh, this one. I think this might be on my TBR too. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is... Let's see. Hailsham seems like a pleasant English boarding school, far from the influences of the city. Its students are well-tended and supported, trained in art and literature, and become just the sort of people the world wants them to be. But curiously, they are taught nothing of the outside world and are allowed little contact with it. Within the grounds of Hailsham, Kathy grows from schoolgirl to young woman, but it's only when she and her friends, Ruth and Tommy, leave the safe grounds of the school, as they always knew they would, that they realize the full truth of what Hailsham is. Never Let Me Go breaks through the boundaries of the literary novel. It is a gripping mystery, a beautiful love story, and also a scathing critique of human arrogance and a moral examination of how we treat the vulnerable and different in our society. Let's add that to cart. Oh man. That's fine. We can move on. Mysteries and thrillers. Elizabeth is missing. This is a cute cover. Add that to cart. Why not? That's what we're here for. Hmm. I feel 
like a lot of these I haven't heard of. The per Megan Miranda. I hear a lot about Megan Miranda. I think I've read one book of hers. It might have been all the missing. I really can't remember, so I guess it wasn't that good. I feel like I enjoyed myself at the time. Ooh, Once Upon a River. I know this has been sitting on my list for a while. Hmm. Let's see if they have any kind of like clearance section. Clearance sale, buy more, save more, or bargain bin, save big on used books. We'll start with the bargain bin and then, then, you know, then, then we'll move on to the buy more, save more. African designs from traditional sources. That sounds cool. Huh. I don't think I'd actually use it, but that sounds really cool. Charming, the magic of charm jewelry. Warmly inscribed, the New England Forger and other book tales. What is this? The authors of two previous well-received volumes in book collecting now regale their many fans with fascinating facts and fables about famous libraries and infamous forgers. Cool. Hopefully that's good. I'm always afraid with like bargain bins that I'm going to end up with something that's not good and that's why it was in the bargain bin to begin with. Oh, I've, uh, oh, I guess I don't get to have it. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. There's another copy. Cool. Yeah, this, the Diary of a Young Girl has been on my list for a while now. I've been meaning to look into it. What else do we have? Good lord, I didn't realize there were arrows. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting this book too. The last lecture? I feel like I've heard somebody talk about this fairly recently, but I don't... I don't know who. Based on the extraordinary final lecture by Carnegie Mellon University Professor Pausch, given after he discovered he had pancreatic cancer, this moving book goes beyond the now famous lecture to inspire readers to live each day with purpose and joy. With photos if you're interested. Let's see. Body, mind, and spirit. Not really my thing. Comic books and graphic novels. Maybe there's stuff that's in here that's cute. It looks like a lot of manga, which is not my cup of tea per se. Yeah, no. Nothing there for me. Cookbooks. No. No, I'm not really into cookbooks. I do HelloFresh and it's uh, pretty much all I want to do. Education. That's probably not going to be... I don't know. I have these No Fear Shakespeare. I've been collecting them. So maybe we'll add that to cart. Oh, wow. They have a lot of them. Let's do it. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if I care. I haven't actually read any of them, which is whatever. <laughs> They're nice collector's items, I guess. Let's see. 
Flyboy, the true story of courage. Hmm. In the heart of the sea, the tragedy of the whale ship Essex. This true life bestseller tells the incredible story of the wreck of the whale ship Essex, an event that served as the inspiration for Melville's Moby Dick. Huh. Well, let's add that to cart. That sounds interesting. Here we go again. I shouldn't be angry about having to scroll down from the top, but for some reason I am. I don't know if I agree with putting Twilight in the children's book section, but okay. Oh my god, I remember reading Esperanza Rising when I was little, and I really liked it. So maybe for old time's sake, we'll throw it in there. Oh my god, I read Island of the Blue Dolphins when I was little, too. I guess it's not just children's books. It really looks like they're mixing young adults in with children, which is fine. I know not everybody really makes a distinction, but I think there is definitely a distinction. Oh, Tuck Everlasting. That was so popular for a while. I don't know if I ever actually read it. Oh, The Secret Garden. I love The Secret Garden. I also read all the Little House series by Laura Ingalls Wilder. <laughs> all of them. It was, it was a thing. I never actually read The Fault in Our Stars. I just watched the movie and I cried like a baby and decided I did not need to read the book. There was just no reason to. The selection. <laughs> That's one of those books. It's like it's like cake, but in book form, where you know it's like the worst thing you could possibly be doing to yourself. But like also it's delicious. I don't know. Maybe I'm too tired to be recording myself doing anything right now. <laughs> I'm surprised at how many Rick Riordan books they've had on this list. I didn't think that would make the bargain bin, but I'm also not totally sure that these are marked down any further than they would be ordinarily just based on other browsing I've done on this site. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go back to where we were. I think we were in history. Yeah. Seventeen seventy six. They had multiple copies of that. The discoverers. See, here's the thing. I want to click on this because I want to read the synopsis. However, I know I'm gonna have to start back at the top of the page, and that's annoying. And I don't think I want to do that. How the Irish Saved Civilization. This is a thing I know is on my TBR somewhere. What else do they have here? Eh, maybe we'll just move down to the next section. Uh, home and garden. Not really my thing. <laughs> they have a lot of Calvin and Hobbes. Oh my gosh, Calvin and Hobbes was so popular like decades ago. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I wanted to read this for a while. I have Stiff by Mary Roach. I think I do too many books and it doesn't help that like I'm still not all unpacked I still have a few totes of just books sitting in my room and I don't remember what's in there it's funny most of these are like weight loss books not like medical history or anything like that okay well next um uh, not super musically inclined so mystery and thriller 
just run through this really quick and see if there's anything in here that I know for sure is on my list. Yeah, it's mostly Janet Ivanovich, JB Rob, like think JD Rob, good god. Nothing that I care about. Non classifiable. <laughs> I didn't realize that was going to be... Oh my god, that's funny. Philosophy. Let's see. I think there's like two books on philosophy. Just, weird question. If anyone out there is also kind of into philosophy, how do you shelve your philosophy? Do you put it in with your nonfiction? Do you separate it? Because I just mix it in with my nonfiction. Because if I tried to separate out everything, I just don't have the space to put everything on different shelves. But I'm just curious. Because I also tend to put like my mythology books in with my nonfiction. And I'm not sure if that's really the right call either. But I kind of look at them as like history, I guess. I don't know. Things I'm curious about, if anybody has any uh, thoughts on the topic. Politics and current events, kind of a scary place to be. Not gonna lie to you. Honestly, I probably have all the books on this list that I would want to read anyway. So let's move on. Reference, religion, romance, science books. None of these are probably gonna... I don't know, this book on the Wright Brothers might be pretty good. Ooh! I have another book by... Um, Michio Kaku, but I don't... I don't know if it's good yet because I haven't read it. But, you know, since I already have a spot for him on my shelf, maybe let's just add to it, I guess. It's ridiculous. When Elephants Weep, The Emotional Lives of Animals. That sounds terrifyingly sad. I don't know if I can do sad like that. Sudden Sea, The Great Hurricane of 1938. Interesting. The Secret Life of Lobsters. How fishermen and scientists are unraveling the mysteries of our favorite crustacean. Sometimes titles make me laugh. I know they really shouldn't because, like, that's just how you would describe it. But it just comes across as very odd. Ah, the crash detectives investigating the world's most mysterious air disasters. That sounds interesting. In the Kingdom of Ice, the Grand and Terrible Polar Voyage of the USS Jeanette. That's interesting. My mom's name is Jeanette. And she always talks about how nothing has her name on it. But apparently, Mom, there was a boat that has your name on it. Oh my god, I could probably buy like two-thirds of the books in this section. This is a problem. I should probably move on now. Oh my god, I have 26 books in my cart. Are you kidding? Ooh, science fiction and fantasy. Maybe there will be some good sci-fi in here. Like, I'm looking for anything not Star Wars. It's... Not my thing. I enjoy... Watching the occasional Star Wars movie. But that that's about it. I just don't get the hype. <laughs> Nobody yell at me in the comments, please. Self-help, no thank you. Okay, see, I'm torn here because Hidden Figures 
I hear a lot of really good things about the book. I watched the movie and enjoyed it. However, I tried to read the book myself and just couldn't get on with it. But that was like five years ago before I really got into nonfiction. So maybe, maybe I would have an easier time with it now. I don't know. We'll try. Eh. Not really into sports. Don't really need any travel books. I like true crime, but eh. let's go. Let's go see. Let's, let's like switch tracks here and see what books do we have. Let's just go to the Barnes and Noble Top 100, and then maybe. Oh, freaking of course, Midnight Sun. Stop. Why do you want to know my location? Men to avoid in art and life. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm not surprised the Kamala Harris book is on there. Huh. The 99% Invisible City, a field guide to the hidden world of everyday design. Castle. Oh, cast. Oh my god. Did I really mess that up? I'm terrible. No, I don't care. Huh. I guess maybe I just don't have the same interests as the average person. Oh, this sounds interesting. The Great Devaluation. How to embrace, prepare, and profit from the coming global monetary reset. I'm very interested to hear his thoughts on what this global monetary reset is going to be and why he thinks this. Evil Geniuses, The Unmaking of America, A Recent History. Eh, sounds... Oh, God. Oops. Live Free or Die, America and the World on the Brink. The Long Call... Share a me and Major Whittle. See, I just saw this somewhere. I don't remember where. The Vanishing Half. A lot of people have been talking about The Vanishing Half recently. And I'm just not sure that I want to... We Were Liars is in the top... Hun wow. It's in the top 25. Apparently, it's still super popular. Mm, the Guest List was pretty good. So far, the, I've, I've read... I think Lucy Foley's only had two books. The, I think The Hunting Lodge? Is that what it was called? And The Guest List. And they were kind of... Mm, they had similar vibes to them. But they were both really good. And they both are definitely their own story. Superheroes are everywhere. Indeed. Yep, I figured. I'm actually surprised that White Fragility isn't higher up on the list right now. Maybe it was like a month ago. Something to Live for. 1984, I have that. I don't care about the Hunger Games prequel. I'm not pre-ordering this book, even though I love the cover. Yeah, again, how to be anti-racist. I would expect these things to be higher up on the list. The only thing I can think is that maybe it's just because interest in the topic has fallen off since it's not. That's the only thing I can think of. Is that it's not in everybody's face all the time anymore, so people have decided it's... Or... Let's go with the positive interpretation is that most people have already bought one of those books or something similar and are educating themselves. <laughs> Let's go with that. The Song of Achilles, I'm not surprised, is in the top 100. It's very good. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I, oh my god. I am so excited for this. Owlcrate is doing, um, 
a, a box, like a, a standalone special box for this book. And obviously, subscribers get first dibs. And I am not currently a subscriber. So I'm hoping, because I am on their emailing list. So I'm hoping <laughs> that they won't sell out and that I'll be able to get my hands on a box because I really, really want it. Uh, I like Ellen Hildebrand. I've only read a couple of her books, but they're they're like nice, feel good, like beachy read kind of things. They're just easy. This looks cute. The one and only Ivan. My grandmother's hands, racialized trauma, and the pathway to mending our hearts and bodies. That sounds like a rough read. American Dirt. I also think this might be on my list of books. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Percy Jackson box set. I have that exact box set, actually. It's an interesting cover. The Order of the Day. Let's look at that. Cause I'm I'm curious. Mass incarceration in the age of color blindness. Oh my god, I bet that's gonna be a hard read too. Do I get oh, okay. This behind the scenes account of the manipulation, hubris, and greed that together led to Nazi Germany's annexation of Austria brilliantly dismantles the myth of an effortless victory and offers a dire warning for our current political crisis. Hmm. Interesting. I recently read a book. I can't remember what it was called, but it took place in Austria around that time. So I don't know. I don't know. I have the Splendid Vial. I think I got that from Book of the Month. I think. The Warmth of Other Suns, the epic story of America's Great Migration. That sounds good. I have Mexican Gothic. I have The Alchemist. I have the March Trilogy. I don't have it in this slipcase set, but I have the individuals. I have The Hate You Give. I don't want most of these. The World of Critical Role, the history behind the epic fantasy. I do not know what that is. Animal Farm, I have. Little Fires Everywhere, I have. I didn't like it as much as everybody else seems to, so that's interesting, but it is what it is. All right, let's see if Barnes & Noble has, like, a sale section. Maybe... Best sellers, 30% off, buy one, get one, 50% off. What about, like, this is all dirt cheap? I guess I could go with the price, but that's gonna... Nah, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's just look at their buy one, get one, half off. Do some mixing and matching. Um... I have this one in the cart, which is interesting, but I don't have anything else here that I particularly want. That's the thing with these buy one, get one half offs is usually I'll find one that I want and then I have, like I own the rest or I just don't want them to begin with. So that sucks. Young Reader Paper Rex. Let's see if there's anything possibly in here. Nope. Nope, nope. 50% off thousands of items. Uh, they don't want kids' books. They don't want toys. Jigsaw puzzles. Okay, that's we're getting off topic now. Journals. Uh, no. Nope, nothing there. 
Anyway, I've been recording for over half an hour, so we should probably just call it because this is getting a little excessive. So thank you for watching. If there are any books in here that interest you, let me know. I've probably already placed my orders, so it won't affect what I buy. <laughs> But if you want to know what out of these like 30 books, 30 plus I think, that I, that I looked at and added to my cart I actually end up buying, stick around, subscribe, see uh, what my August haul looks like. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.